guys, Fozzy here, and welcome to another edition of Halloween's Month. Well, one of my favorite stop-motion directors of all time is Henry Selznick. I mean, seriously, the way he does the movies and his unique sense of style is awesome. You don't know the name? Well, let me introduce you. Maybe you'll recognize him. His most notable role is actually what is actually known by Tim Borden. I mean, like, well, Tim Borden, I think, gets all the credit for making the, to the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Henry Selznick was the one behind the camera and the one, and the one who came up with, with a lot of the of the the designs and stuff for for what went on in here. He he also war did good working on the heads for Jack Skellington. Not, not to take away anything from Borton, but Henry did but Henry really really having a unique sense of style for the nightmare before before Christmas really really showed. This is why him and Tim Borden do, do so good together. What Tim designed like Zach Skellington and the uh, and the haunted houses, Henry did a good job do working working on like with like some of the background characters. It's hard to believe that like Tim didn't direct this movie because like of what a good style Henry did. It's hard to believe I didn't see this movie until I was 14 because of how awesome it is. The movie, however, that introduced me was James and the Giant Peach. Like, I mean, and I really think he did a good job. I mean, I never cared for the book too much, but like the designs on these bu the bugs in here really do good bringing the film to life. I mean, really, when I see, like, the ladybug, the centipede, and the grasshopper come come here, it's like they could have jumped right out of the book and came and came onto here. Not to add that and, like, the and, like, the sound of great dire direction and great music, and you really got a treat. I'm a huge fan of Wild Doll, but, like, there aren't that many movie adaptations, I think, in my opinion, he succeeded at. But he definitely succeeded in doing a good, a good jo job writing this book, and Selznick definitely I, did good at bringing it to life. Actually, even a better job, in my opinion, than Doll. I mean, seriously, the book gives no reason why they go to New York whatsoever. The sh my favorite short film that that Henry did was called Moon Girl, about a little boy named Leon who captured fireflies and one day gets lassoed into space and he becomes friends with Moon Girl. So they develop a special friendship and the adventure really begins. I mean, this is this is how good good Henry Selznick is. I I don't even remember what movie I saw this preview before, and I really enjoy it. In 2001, Selznick decided to combine animation with live action, and I think he done well succeeded. Well. While Monkey Bone got mixed reviews, I really, really like it. I mean, it's actually one of my favorite movies that combine live action and animation. I mean, I mean, what I really like best about Monkey Bone is like how it still shows the an Henry's animation in here. But, and like, it shows what his art would be like if, if designed into the, into the real world. So, some of mine I personally like is, um, 
the box trolls about a, a boy named Eggs who ends up living in a group of with a group of trolls after he found it in an alley and his parents disappear. When a when a, a little girl named Winnie ends up finding finding him, she tells her father, Lord Trout, he doesn't but who doesn't believe her. Meanwhile, the evil arts of Bald Snapser ends up going out, going after Eggs, claiming like he could get a white hat and be somebody who ends up becoming royalty and feast on cheese all the time. And like, throughout all this, Eggs and Winnie get, develop a special friendship and it's a pretty cool movie. Henry did a really good job with the stop motion here, and, well, I don't believe this is a movie that's been forgotten. One of his most recent, recent success stories is Caroline, about a little girl with that name who, when she can't deal with her family moves, goes to another dimension and sees a mother and father who look just like her, who claim to be her other mother and other father. When that, when this happens, she ends up singing the other role. That's the idea of buttons in the eyes is creepy. For the longest time, I saw Tim Burton directed this. I mean, and like, but like, no, it was, it was Henry Selznick. And you know what? He did a damn good job. In conclusion, Henry Selznick is definitely a man who, while maybe he isn't as well known as Tim Borden, definitely deserves as much credit as this. I hope one day he will succeed. With all these talk about, with all these talks about live action remakes, if we ever did a, a, a live action movie, I really would like to see would be a Rescuers movie and. I think Sales Nick would be just a man of directed. Will it happen? I don't know. So thanks again guys for watching Halloween's month. Tune in again next week for another edition. Arrivederci!